I was delighted and honoured when Madeline got in contact with me from Madison to say that this year is her 10th anniversary. That's an extraordinary landmark for her shop to have survived, to have flourished and to have gained an international reputation. So I wanted to play my very, very small part in the celebration and said that I would create for her two fragrances. The two fragrances I've created for Madison, Madison for men, Madison for women, are really created out of a great mutual respect which happened on the very, very first meeting between me and Madeline, the owner of Madison. I think her perfumery is beautiful, fabulous, and totally unexpected, and I think it's one of the real hubs of society in Romania. Both of these fragrances are oriental in their composition, but neither of them are quite what you might think when you first smell them. That for me was important, because I would have to say Romania wasn't what I expected, and so I wanted to get that in these fragrance compositions. For Madison Parfum, it opens with a burst of mandarin, fresh but slightly sweet. It counterpoints the beautiful floral bouquet, in my opinion, perfectly. At centre stage, you have the legendary Rose de May, a rose which is so rare, the entire year's production of it is less than one day's production of Bulgarian rose. It's priceless and precious. It seemed perfect for purpose. Around it, we have very, very soft, ultra-feminine materials, violet, and the extraordinary costly oris, which really does cost three and a half times the price of gold bullion and takes six years to create. But these floral notes needed something a little bit edgy, because when I think of Madeline and when I think of Madison, I think of a shop which breaks the rules always has, and I'm sure always will do. So it has a slightly tart note of black currant. The base is soft, very slightly powdery, and ultra-feminine. It's like a kiss on the cheek, or an embrace from a woman. It enfolds you in femininity. So the men's scent opens with an enormous burst of lime and geranium, enhanced by the fresh lively note of cardamom. The first suggestion is not going to be where the journey ends. It was a little bit like my first trip to Romania. The country was nothing like I imagined it to be, full of surprise. That's exactly what I wanted in my men's creation. The scent feels as though it's going to go off into a very, very dry, woody world of woods and mosses, as if the perfume might be a sheep, but in the end it nestles on a very, very soft oriental base with vanilla and a tiny touch of cacao, which made me stop to think of Madison being the meeting place where people often will have a cup of coffee and meet friends, whether the friends are the people that work in the store or other customers that know each other. So this very, very lively, very masculine scent, full of surprise, just like the people that I've met in Romania itself. I hope that everyone that discovers these scents falls in love with them, but I have to say both are doomed love affairs, because this is a limited edition, just 50 pieces of each made, 50 people who will be lucky enough to smell of this great celebration and a collaboration between Roger Parfum and Madison and a friendship between Roger Dove and Madeline, who owns the store. I hope you love smelling them and wearing them as much as I have loved creating them.